For this tutorial, assume that the development of a scenario is finished and we now want to set up the generation of formatted event data that can be used with analysis tools. This scenario used presentation's automatic response matching features to associate stimuli and responses during the scenario, which we will make use of during this tutorial. The next tutorial in this series will cover additional analyzer features for associating events after the scenario. The scenario was just run and the analyzer window has appeared. Presentation used the default SDF to process the event data. To make a custom SDF for this experiment, open a new editor file in the analyzer and save the file. We can set this new file as the SDF file for this experiment within the analyzer by selecting Set Experiment SDF File from the Editor menu. We can see the effect of this in the Set Definition File settings on the Log Files panel of the Settings tab. If you use a different SDF for each scenario in the experiment, you must adjust the settings here rather than in the analyzer window. Before we begin, note that you can enter comments in your SDF using the pound character. Anything after that character to the end of the line will be ignored. We can reprocess the event data using our new SDF by pressing Ctrl R. Although our SDF is empty, presentation automatically creates certain sets and tables for us. The event set All contains all logged events. The columns currently displayed are those for the default event table table. To make another event set table, type event table followed by the table name and then an opening parenthesis. Next is a common delimited list of property names. You can find a list of the built-in event properties in the Defining Event Sets section of the documentation. Let's display the time, event type, and code. This scenario also used custom stimulus properties named image, eye color, and location, which were defined in the scenario. When you create custom stimulus properties, you can use those properties in the analyzer. After the property list, enter a closing parenthesis to end the table definition. If we analyze again, we can see the new table in the list of event tables. Clicking on this table will display the event set data using the columns we specified. Notice that events that define the custom stimulus properties in the event code have been split into the correct columns. If there are errors in your SDF when you analyze, a box will appear beneath the editor containing error messages. Click on an error message to highlight the statement causing the error. We can define our own event sets containing a subset of the events from the set All. To define an event set, type your set name followed by a colon. Next, enter a defining condition that all events in that set must satisfy. This can be any general expression containing event property values. For example, we can make a set of all picture stimuli. Analyze again to see the new event set. Some of the pictures in this scenario were not stimuli, but instruction or rest trials that happened to be logged. We can define a set to exclude these by noting that the eye color property was not defined for those stimuli. Since this set is a subset of the set of pictures we already defined, we can simplify the definition by specifying a parent set between parentheses following the set name. When you do this, the new set will contain all members of the parent set that satisfy the condition. D 
Details about what conditions can be used in the set definition can be found in the Defining Event Sets section of the documentation. In addition to the All Event Set, Presentation will automatically create event pair sets corresponding to events that were matched during the scenario. The data for two associated events appear on each row. The RM All set contains an event pair for each stimulus that was either response active or had an event code. For stimuli that were not matched to a second event, all of the second event string properties will be empty and all numerical properties will have a value of negative 1. We can see that the picture instruct was not matched. For each event property, an event pair has two properties with 1 or 2 appended to the event property name. For example, code 1 refers to the code property of the first event in the pair, and code 2 refers to the second event. There is also a special property named time diff which is simply time2 minus time1. To eliminate the instruction and rest pairs, we can define an event pair set. Unlike event set definitions, you must specify a parent set. We also use two colons for event pair set definitions. The properties appearing in the condition must be event pair properties. We might also calculate the hit percentage for quick feedback after the scenario. The automatically defined RM hit set contains all response match stimuli classified as hits during the scenario. To define a number, enter the name and an equals sign. The right side is any general numerical expression, which may include certain functions. These functions and their syntax are described in the Defining Numbers section of the documentation. After analyzing, we can see the number in the lower left box. Finally, we define an event pair table containing the columns we need for our analysis. Event pair table definitions begin with event pair table. The built in event pair property RM type indicates the response match classification that was done during the scenario. The data now displayed can be written to an output file for each run of the scenario. To produce an output file, we use print statements. Print statements in general are covered in the printing output section of the documentation. Print statements always begin with the word print. To print the data for a set, first enter the name of a table to use and an opening parenthesis. Enter the name of the set to print, followed by two strings and a closing parenthesis. The first string will be inserted between columns. The second string will be printed after each element of the set. Here we print tabs between columns and a new line to put each pair on a separate row. This time when we analyze, presentation will place any printed output in a new editor tab labeled Output. This allows you to easily inspect printed output while developing your SDF. The columns in this text may not be aligned as that depends on the editor tab size and the column contents. We can see that when printing a table, the first row will always be the property names for each column. When this scenario is run as an experiment, an output file in addition to the log file will be saved automatically regardless of whether the analyzer appears at all.
Here in the log file folder, we can find the log file and the analyzer output file containing the custom data table.